guys, today I'm going to do a fitness vlog. I just went shopping, I went to the gym, and I'm going to show you all the things I got on my shopping trip. I'm going to prepare a bit of healthy food, and then I'm going to show you some booty exercises, uh, because you guys always ask me about this, and I always... I mean, I haven't done it yet because I wanted to really prepare because I always train at a gym. So I wanted to organize that with a trainer and stuff, but I'm just going to show you some easier stuff and, you know, it's, it's hard to get permission to film at a gym, so I haven't done it yet, that's why. But I'm just going to show you some of the exercises that I do that don't involve fancy equipment and then you guys can try it at home if you want. I will just say... So I'm not a professional or anything. Please just get advice before you try any of the stuff that I'm trying. I've been interested in fitness since 2000 and 2010. I think I first got into it. And for a while I was even training for a bikini comp. But um, I didn't end, end up competing because I wasn't prepared. Because I eat... I'm just so bad at dieting, but I'm going to Europe in less than a month now and I'm going to Marbella, so I'm going to be in a bikini a lot. And so I've started for the past few weeks just like changing up my routine a bit and eating a lot more healthy because I do want to shred down a bit or lose a bit of weight and tone up before I go. So just went shopping, got lots of stuff and I'm going to show you what I'm going to prepare and what I got because right now I just want to prepare a bit of food it's a Sunday night I just want to prepare a bit of food for the week and like snacks and stuff okay so um I got some quinoa these are just the kind of ready ones that have got flavors in them this one's Moroccan and that one's like lemon and thyme or stuff I like to have that with my salmon dried goji berries which I like to put in my salads I like spinach because I like to wilt it when I'm having my salmon kale never bought it before so damn hipster but I'm gonna give it a go corn thins cocoa bella apples carrots garlic paste hummus hummus whatever cottage cheese bananas this is multi-grain bread I've got some goat's cheese lemon celery cucumber tomatoes things to put the food in this is to keep my zing tea in I do take those diuretic teas I'll show you in a sec and then these are just kind of for the days where I'm so damn lazy or I don't have anything prepared it's what stops me from walking down the road to get pizza so it's I don't know how, like, how good it is for you. This seems to have like a fair amount of cows. But this is the superfood Middle Eastern chicken with quinoa tabbouleh. And then Greek style meatballs. I thought these were actually really good. I mean, I don't know. You guys tell me. But it literally just contains beef, potato, onion, egg, salt, parsley, garlic, cumin, lemon juice, sugar, oregano, and pepper. So firstly, I'm hungry. So I'm going to have a snack because what time is it? Oh, I don't know what time it is, but I'm going to have a snack before dinner. I will leave that on. I'm going to have a snack before dinner because my housemaid isn't home yet. So I'm just going to have some hummus with carrot and celery. So I'm going to prepare that now. So now I'm going to put these in the fridge because I'll be able to pull them out over the next few days or throughout the week to have as a snack with either natural peanut butter or hummus. This is another thing I like. It's called Zing Tea. I mean, you probably see this stuff all over Instagram, which is why I never tried it before because I just thought it was a gimmick that all these fitness girls like to pose with. But um, I tried it and basically what it does is it makes you go to the toilet. So it helps you not stay bloated, which I think is really important. It helps you look, you know, tighter. And so I guess it makes me more inspired. The one that I got sent this ages ago and I never used it. Uh, it's called Zing Tea. And you're meant to use it for like 14 days, blah, blah, blah. But I just, um, you know, have it every now and then as a tea. Okay, so I'm just about to start preparing this lunch that I'm going to be using for the next few days or for throughout the week. Um, and even for dinner, I think I'll have some. I'm um, just preparing the... God damn it, quinoa right now. So I've got to let that simmer for 10 minutes. I'll talk about it later. I'll just... Ow. I just thought I would share some of my favorite uh, fitness clothes sites. So 
I really, um, FYI, this is both Lorna Jane. It's got a really cute back detail that you might have seen before. And these pants are from Freddy. They're the butt lifting pants. I don't know if you can see, but these things here, they like lift your butt. So my butt is like big normally, but it's not this nice when it's naked. Trust me. My favorite online shops to shop at for fitness clothes are the iconic Revolve Clothing Shop Bop Style Runner uh, and Rebel Sport. Yeah, I think that's it. I've never used Lululemon before, so I remember I should. <laughs> yeah, but right now I'm just kind of checking out iconic for some like cash clothes. So yeah, pretty awesome. Awesome sauce. So I think the stuff is probably ready now, so I should probably go get it. How annoying, I've got two pimples here. And then on the other side, there's like two that are like almost exactly mirrored. A little bit further up. I just broke out like a mofo this month. It sucks. Balls. How are you doing, little quinoa? Oh, goodness. I remember when I first found out about quinoa, I used to call it quinoa. So silly. So I'm gonna have it for dinner tonight as well. So I'm gonna get two bowls as well as um, a container to put it in for like my lunches and stuff. I'm gonna make this salad. It's just kale, goji berries and stuff. Open the kale and pop it in a bowl. Kale tastes like shit, so maybe don't put too much. <laughs> just kidding. Ha 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 ha. It's so yummy. I love kale. I'm gonna put some pepitas in here. What are pepitas? I don't really know what they are, but they're green and they're seeds, so we're gonna put them in. I really like putting seeds in my salads. Looks fancy as... Um, I was gonna put almonds in, so why not? Let's just do it. Almonds are good for you. So just do it. Goji berries. This is just adds like more flavor, I guess. Don't put too much in. I never measure, so who knows? Depends how like sweet you want it. And then the ones that I'm gonna eat now, I'm gonna put the goat's curd in. Yummy! So this stuff is not healthy, but you just put a little bit in it. I love putting cheese in my salad. I love cheese at any time. Oh, I've run out of battery. Shit balls. All right, you're all charged. And I'm dying of hunger. I'm just gonna shift the salad over to the side a little bit and then put just a spoonful of it a bit more yeah. damn i didn't shift this one <laughs> well i've also got some chicken from the other night it was a roast chook see there's potatoes there but don't touch those they're carbs and they're bad for you kidding no, but in all honesty, I stay away from potatoes and bread and stuff like that when I'm trying to lose weight. I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil on top. Whoa, that was more than a drizzle. I'm just gonna put some chicken on top. I'm gonna mix mine. I'm also gonna put some in the one that I'm saving for the week. So I just realized I forgot to add the cheese, but I would always add the cheese when I go to eat it. So only use a small amount because I don't think this is like that good for you. And then that's a really healthy dinner. So now, like for my lunches, I can sort of do the same thing. I could add chicken or maybe I could even add tuna if I wanted and then add some of the cheese on top. So yeah, yummy. I'm gonna eat it now. So dinner was a hit. Although Carol doesn't like sweet things mixed with savory, she said. So next time I will add the goji berries after. So some of these snack ideas for the smaller meals between breakfast, lunch, and dinner. All my meals are smaller, by the way. I just um, have like breakfast, then a snack, then lunch, then a snack, then dinner. And then maybe even a snack before bed. You know, some of these probably aren't the best thing you could ever have, but you can have a shake, protein shake as a snack or in between meals. But the things that I have for breakfast are probably something like toast and this is like gluten wheat free multi-grain loaf but just don't get white bread like just look for one that's multi-grain or, or rye bread so for breakfast i might have toast with avocado on top and i also have i put um dukkha on top or dukkha on top it's like an arabic sprinkle of stuff um or i could have a banana and some yogurt 
and muesli, something like that. I might have boiled eggs with soy sauce, so it will do soy sauce and I also usually have avocado with that or you can have nuts, I don't have my almonds but sometimes I eat pistachios as well, I really like eating pistachios the yogurt, as I said I really like to mix it with my super elixir, this is by Wellco, so by Elle McPherson, it's just this green powder that's meant to assist in making your body alkaline rather than acidic and I feel like that's really making me feel better actually. So I either mix that with my yogurt in the morning or if I'm having like toast or something, I have that in coconut water. What else is there? So you could have tuna, you know, that's like lunch or dinner or whenever you want or as a snack. And then the hummus with the celery and carrot and stuff. Um, I also really love like if I'm craving something sweet, I like to have apple quarters with peanut butter, natural peanut butter on top. It's really awesome. And another yummy snack that's a bit salty is cottage cheese on corn thins. That's such a good one. Uh, have I missed anything? Yeah, I think that's it. Hummus, yep. Okay, cool beans, radio. Now I'm gonna show you some butt exercises because you always ask me about this. And I might show you some things that I do that I don't know if it's going to help you make it bigger easily, but it definitely makes it perkier. It makes the muscles more tight and stuff. Carol's going to film. You don't have to be a mute. You do the thing that my mum does where she's just like, she won't say anything. They know you're there, but you're just like, <laughs> hello everyone. <laughs> hold it, maybe go oh, like this okay. and hold it like So I bought this thing online and I think it's like a... Five kilo. Do you think this is five kilos? Yeah. It's not it's two like, and a half. No, it's a five kilo weight and it's just like sand in a little bag that you can put around your ankle. I'm going to put it on now. And this just helps make the exercise work more. So you can do it without an ankle weight, but I take... <laughs> I take this to the gym um, and then sometimes before I do my compound exercises I do this so I really target the muscle and like get it hurting not bad hurt but like good hurt before I do like my squats and lunges and stuff because I feel like it just it just activates it and then I feel it more when I'm training so <clears throat> so something that I might do I well I always do is I usually start off Oh, sorry, I usually start off with this one that sort of gets all the different sides. So you start like out to the side and then you bring it up and across and you go back. So I feel like it goes from the outer part of my butt, the upper, like the inner, <laughs> like all of it. So I do that and on the leg that I start with, I don't, I count and then when it starts to, and then I just keep going until I pretty much can't go anymore. And then I just make note of how many numbers I did and then do it on the other leg. So it really hurts and by the end of it I'm like, ah, like that. But it's good. And then I also do this one. Again, just till it hurts on the first leg, but make sure you're counting. And then do the same on the other leg. What other ones can you do? Sometimes I do this one where I kind of open it out like I'm a dog about to piss on a pole. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, I'm shaking the camera. <laughs> <laughs> and I just lift it up like this and go right down. <laughs> Some of you are all shaky now. Um, yeah, but I like to bring it up, hold it and then come down. Bring it up hold it and then come down and that makes my butt rounder at the sides. As I said, I'm not a personal trainer, <coughs> but um, this is what I do, so make sure you seek like professional advice. Yeah, so I'll, um, I'll try and let you guys know where you can get one of these. They're really, really handy for when you just want to do some work at home, but you don't need to do those exercises with an ankle weight. You could just do it without a weight or maybe you could fill your socks with sand or something, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so that's what I do for my butt and maybe in another vlog I'll show you how I do my arms and stuff like that. But I hope you guys liked this vlog and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Yay!